Hey friends, it's Sarah Joy. I have a fun video for you today. We're taking a little field trip outside. I usually do interior projects and interior decor, but today, if you can't tell, we're gonna be getting a little dirty. We're gonna be going outside and doing a composting project. So it's gonna be really fun. I love um, doing things that uh, make us a little bit more not wasteful <laughs> and uh, help the little ecosystem that we have going on in our yard. So this is going to be a fun project. We're going to be doing an in-ground composting system that's very, very affordable and very easy to uh, make. So let's get started. First of all, if you're new here, I want to say hi real quick. I am Sarah Joy. I do a lot of interior design projects and videos. I post every single Tuesday with tips for you to decorate your home and bring a little joy into your home space. And I also take you behind the scenes on projects that I do around the house, this being one of them. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and click subscribe so that you don't miss a video every Tuesday when they come out. So I am in the process of building a nice springtime herb garden and I have had the idea to start a compost bin. I've been hating to just throw away all of our veggie scraps and food food scraps and all this stuff um, because I just feel like it's kind of wasteful and it can go into a really helpful soil project. I am going to be using five gallon buckets. I actually got these for free from my local Chick-fil-A um, because they have five gallon buckets of pickles that they use and then when they're done with them they just throw them away so i asked them to give me some of their pickle buckets um you if you're trying to do this like they do have lids that come with them and you could potentially use them i know you can also buy five gallon containers they're more they're not food grade um, but you can buy them from like home depot or lowe's um, and i think you can get the lids for them as well not really sure on the pricing but i think probably under 10 bucks for both um, but what i'm doing got my free pickle bucket and then I'm going to use a very simple lid. I will say the lids that they usually give you for these they snap on so they're a little bit difficult to get off. So I'm going to be using a gamma seal lid and um, it actually comes just with an attachment and you can actually screw on the lid so it makes it really easy to come on and off and then it's also just airtight food safe and all this stuff. Um, so that will help from pests and insects from getting in to the compost pile, which will hopefully help later on. So let me take you and show you what we're doing. Basically, I'm gonna dig a big hole and then we're gonna fill it up with a five gallon container and drill some holes in it and make it um, compostable so that worms can travel in and out from your garden to your compost bucket and then back into your garden. Let's go. All right, Peter is out here helping me. I'm very grateful. He's uh, repping his Texas shirt. <laughs> so we're gonna dig a hole that is roughly the size of the circumference of a bucket, which are right here. So we're gonna try to dig it the same, basically the same depth. I'm okay if the rim sticks out a little bit. And um, so that's what we're doing now trial and error. I've already done one of these. We do run into roots every once in a while. Oh, I saw a tiny worm too. Um, so the, my best practice is to come out here and to wet the soil before you really try to dig it because it's going to make it way easier. And then once you get to a certain point where you've upturned the earth, um, we'll probably go back in like right now ish and re -wet it again. So that's why I have this watering can out here because that makes it way easier to keep digging. All right, so our hole is done. This is what it looks like. And surprisingly, I know this doesn't look like that much, but this is how much dirt came out of it, which is just crazy town. Um, we actually run into a lot of clay, which if you do not wet it ahead of time, it is miserable to work with. But again, here's my bucket and this is how it fits. So when it's in the ground, just a tiny portion is gonna stick up out of it, like that. So in my opinion, that's great. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is to drill holes in the side of it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this um, handle out because I'm not gonna be using that. And then I'm gonna take my drill. Not sure what size this is, so let's see, three fourths. And I'm gonna start drilling holes in this. This is for drainage and to oxygenate um, the stuff and to let worms travel in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and start 
drilling a bunch of holes in this and then we'll put it in the ground and start filling it up. So now my bucket is ready to go. Mostly, it's got lots of holes in it. We're gonna go ahead and stick it in the ground. We'll get it nice and situated. Just want it to stay in here evenly. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some dirt that I have. I have some organic dirt. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in um, to where it's just nicely seated and then add a little extra and then we're going to start filling up the bucket with uh, some different materials. So like I mentioned earlier, you can use the lid that these come with. Um, if it's a painter's lid, it's going to snap on. Same deal with the lids that come from Chick-fil-A. It's just a very fortified lid that snaps on in several places. But if you're going to be using this on a daily basis like I am to go and throw in your scraps from cooking dinner, um, I don't want to have to deal with like prying the lid off and popping it back on every time because it is such a hassle and they're very hard to get off. So this is where the gamma steel lid enters. These are about 11 bucks. So you can find them on several different places. I think Uline sells them in a batch, but Amazon also has them for like the exact same price. So you can just order like one at a time basically. Um, but I got the black ones because I figured they would good, go well with the ground. So this is what it looks like. So it's two pieces. So this piece will actually snap onto your five gallon container and then this part will screw into it. So it's gonna be super easy for you to just unscrew every day and put your fruit and veggie scraps and whatever else inside of it instead of trying to pry the whole thing off. So then it's gonna keep all of pests, vermin, insects out of it, which is also a dream come true. So very easy access. Okay, I am not an expert on this, but from what I know, I need to fill the bottom with some sticks. It's gonna give it some room to breathe and uh, everything else will sit on top of it and it will be able to drain well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bunch up some sticks in the bottom. We've been trimming trees, so I'm just gonna use some of those clippings and fill the bottom. There we go. Okay, next, <laughs> putting my uh, shredder to use. I have some shredded paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and nicely stick this in here. Do my duty to, to compost where I can. Yay, business, getting repurposed. All right, next up, this is just like basically grass and weed clippings um, that I've had from the yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. This actually, this retains a lot of moisture, as you can see. Yum. All right, I'm gonna mash this down a little. And now it is time for the compost. I have this just from today, basically. So this was a dozen eggs. Um, that I didn't use them all today, but I, whenever I, whenever I crack an egg, I just keep the eggshell. So these will all break down nicely. So I'm gonna sprinkle these in here like confetti. Okay, now we have cucumber, cucumber peel, avocado peel, avocado pit, sprouted grain bread, and some limes. <laughs> has now gone in. Now we're gonna attach the lid. So we're gonna take this lid and just snap it on. There we go. It's now gonna set on like that. Now that it's in here and sealed, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with some more dirt and then I'll give you one more look at it.
Love the Gamma Seal lid. So now that can just open up. And then as worms come in, they can grab this food and then travel back out and feed my beautiful basil <laughs> or my tomato. You know, that's how it's gonna go. All right guys, that is it for today. I hope you learned something. If you make one of these, I would love for you to tag me in it or show me somehow. You can tag me on Instagram or show me on here and I would love to see how yours turned out as well. But hopefully it's helpful for you and your gardens in this nice gardening season when we're all a little bit inspired to go out there and plant some herbs or veggies. I'll be back next week with a brand new video, so make sure that you stick around so you don't miss it. See you later. What a wonderful